Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a quick uh, tutorial. This is a request that I got from Sandra and she asked me if I could model a Celtic ring. Okay, cool. So we're going to start with a polygon torus. We're going to pull that out. It's a bit big as you can see. So we're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down. There we go. We're going to hit F to zoom in. And let's give this a bit more subdivision. So we'll do 20 by 20. That's about it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to stretch this out. And then we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag, select this vertex row and this vertex row. Make sure we've got nothing else selected. And we're going to stretch that out some more until we get this. Okay. I'm going to right click go to object mode. I'm going to hit three to smooth it out, which will give us this. Then I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to select this guy. Control D to duplicate. W to pull down. E to rotate. I'm just going to hit W and I'm going to move that in to about there. And then I'm going to hit Control D again, move that over, hit E to rotate that back. And we'll find the same angle here. So that's 55.30. So that's 55.30. We've got the same rotation angle. And we're going to hit W and we're going to bring that in. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see how far we need to go in here. That would be, let's say, something like this. Not quite there yet. Just trying to see what looks best. That looks pretty symmetrical. Okay. So we're going to drag select this. We're going to go to Mesh and Boolean and Union. OK. And we'll drag select it. We'll go to Mesh and Smooth to add some subdivision like that. Drag select it. Hit E to rotate it upwards. To, <coughs> excuse me, to 90 degrees. We're then going to move into this view. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. W to move over until they touch. And then we're going to zoom out and we're going to hit Shift D to something like this. Okay. Mesh combine. And there we go. We are then going to go to Modify Center Pivot. We're going to go to Animation, Create Deformers, Nonlinear, and Bend. Now we need to rotate that bend handle. So we're going to select it. We're going to hit E. And we're going to flip that over until we are at, where do you go? Minus 90 degrees. This should allow us to bend it, but I'm not quite sure if we got the right direction yet. Nope, we don't. So we're going to hit Control Z to go back. And we're going to start to rotate the handle again this way around. So that would be minus 90 there as well. Now let's give it another try. There we go. And we're going to do exactly minus 180. Okay. We're going to drag select the whole thing, edit, delete by type, history, and we're good. Okay. Then we're going to take another, um, let's do a polygon pipe. Let's pull that out, pull that up. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it in. Let's first, uh, no, that's fine. We'll take that. Then we are going to hit F to zoom in. Let's make that 
subdivision of 40. We'll decrease thickness to 3.5. And we'll give it a bit more height. And then we'll go towards our top view. Take this guy, hit W, move it over here. Hit R, scale it out. Have to zoom in. Four for wireframe mode. Let's start to move that. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to raise it up a little bit until we're on the top here. Then we're going to right click at our vertex and take these top vertices and push that down to about there. Just uh, check that once again. Yeah, it's fine. Then we're going to right click, go to object mode, select it. Control D to duplicate. W to move down. Like so. That's good. Drag select the whole thing. And what we'll do is we'll take these two and hit three to smooth them out. We'll take the top one and we're going to bring that in. The bottom one, we'll check from this view. And from this view, we're just going to check to see if we are positioned correctly or not. And it looks like we're going to take both, hit R, and just scale that in slightly and raise this guy up a little bit. All right, drag select the whole thing, control G to group, modify center pivot. We're going to move that out. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it in, and F to zoom in. And from our top view, hit W, and let's move that towards our grid. Okay. Then we're going to create a ground plane. Scale it out both ways. We're going to move our ring so it's sitting where it needs to sit. So I hit W, pull that up, position it right there. I have to zoom in. We'll find a nice angle. We'll do something like so. Set up a resolution gate. Raise it up a little bit. Go to create lights, point light. Hit 7 on your keyboard so we can see what the light is doing. That's not bad. Control D to duplicate that light. Push it over there and decrease intensity to 0 0.6. And obviously we're going to apply some material to this guy. So we're going to make sure that we do not have our ground plane selected. Right click, assign new material, MIA material X, material tab, presets, copper, replace. And let's tweak this a little bit. Okay, just pull it down just slightly. Okay, then we're going to go to our render settings. We're going to select mental ray because we use a mental ray material. We are going to set the image size in our common tab to HD 1080. In the quality tab, we'll do 1.5. And in my indirect lighting, I'm going to select global illumination. And I'm going to create image-based lighting. Okay. Then we're going to go to this folder to create the image-based file. And I'll just uh, select that. Go to Maya. Uh, let's see, let's see, HDRI, 
and what I'll do for this one, uh, I'll do this one, Sky 1. And you can get a lot of these HDRI images for free. Just uh, Google for uh, free HDRI images and you should be good. Okay, cool. So let's give this a go and see how it looks. See you guys in a sec. Well, there you have it, guys. There's our final render for our Celtic ring. So, uh, Sandra, hopefully this is what you were looking for. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.